Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on customizing the Django admin with simple UI. Now, I have already done quite a lot, as you may know, of Django admin themes. And I would say at the moment, my favorite include Jasmine and Django Daisy. However, a really nice thing that I like about Simple UI is that it has a lot of built-in UIs in it, like Django Daisy, but it's more comprehensive and there's a bigger variety. But in any case, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to want to do is to install Django Simple UI. So here is my project here. I have a very simple project and I just want to go on ahead and install Django Simple UI. Okay, now this is going to take a moment to install. So what we're going to have to do is be patient and once it's been installed, we can then continue. Right, so as soon as it's been installed, you can clean that up. And all we would need to do then is grab the simple UI and then we can navigate to our application. Then we can go to installed apps. And you just want to put in simple UI in your list of installed apps. Then we can just run our server. Okay, there we go. And we can now navigate to our application at the admin. So I'll just go to my local application and then put in forward slash admin. And there we go. So as you can see, we've got a very nice and snazzy looking um, logging page to start. And when we log in, we'll be able to customize with pre-built themes, our Django admin. Now, what I want to do now is just create a super user to log in. So if you haven't done so, you can just stop your server. So I'm going to say Python manage.py create super user. Okay, and say honor, enter in a password. And again, okay, then I can just rerun my server. All right, okay, let's refresh. Okay, great. And now I'm just going to enter in my credentials. All right. And something I do want to mention, what I really like is it doesn't have an auto filter here in place, which is really nice because what I don't like is when I when it auto filters a recently used admin or email, etc. And we also have a nice option here to show or hide our password as we put it into. So let's log in. And here we are. So as you can see, this is our default UI available to us. We can see on the left hand side here, we have our default Django authentication authorization app. We can see that's part into the group model and the user model. And as you can see, if we go to user, we can see we have a very nice and sleek looking UI available to us. We can also see our custom models as well. So here on the left hand side, you'll be able to see any custom app that you've created. So in my application, I have a particular app called web app. As you can see web app showing here, if I click on the drop down, this is called my customer model and that pertains to the model that I defined in my web app. As we can see here, I have a model here that's defined as customer. So if I click on that, I can see I also have that available to me as well. And as you can see, it gives you the ability to also have tabs here. So what's really cool about this particular um, theme here is that we also have nice tabs that we can navigate. We also have quick navigation available to us. We can also see that a lot of icons have been added, a lot of extra features. But what I mainly want to show you is if you want to change the theme. So here, as you can see, there is a huge variety available to us and you can just select them. And in the background here, you can see all of those changes being applied to your application. So as you can see, it's very nice, very useful, and it really seeps in nicely with what I want to change. So what I prefer is always like a darker sort of scheme. So I'm going to go with the, let's go with this one here. And there we have it. All right, so if you want to log out now, you can of course just say log out. It's going to ask if you're sure, just say yes, and then it takes us back. All right guys, so that's it on this video tutorial. So a very nice, Django library in terms of customizing our Django admin theme. So it's definitely something I'd recommend you check out. Very nice, a lot of variety and yeah.
So that's it guys for this video tutorial. Just wanted to give you some insight on this new um, admin team that I saw that looks quite nice. But anyway guys, thank you for the support as always and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.